Is your scalp itchy and dry? Do you ever suffer from dandruff? Is your scalp ever sore to the touch? Do you want your hair to go in longer and stronger? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then I have the solution for you. Today, I'm showing you all how to make my highly anticipated modified sulfur H recipe. Make sure you stay glued to this video so you don't miss a single one of these crucial steps. Now, of course, before we get started, please be sure to give this video one big thumbs up. Be sure to share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know exactly what it is that you want to see from me. And last but never ever can be least, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. <laughs> be sure to also watch all these ads all the way through, unless of course they're like 20 years long so I can keep my channel sustainable and keep doing videos that speak to me and speak to you. I really value you all and I want to bring you the best content. Thank you all so much and stay tuned. If you're not already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at fxzara, E-F-I-K-Z-A-R-A. I post a lot of my photography there and of course behind the scenes on how I get my iconic imagery. Be sure to also follow me on Twitter at fxzara so you can chat to me and ask me all the questions your heart desires. I try to answer my DMs as much as possible and any tweets I reply to, so that's the best place to reach me. So today we're going to make my modified version of Sulfur 8, which happens to be my favorite scalp grease. I like to call it FXR's Super Sulfur Grease. It's very aptly titled, and if you have a troubled scalp, I guarantee you this will solve 99.9% .9 of your problem. Not only does it feature a plethora of stimulants that are actually proven to increase hair growth dramatically, it also features true active ingredients that kill fungus and fight bacteria. Dandruff wear. A dry scalp wear. Itchy, sensitive, and sore scalp wear. We don't know them <laughs> because I'm using this beautiful recipe and you can too. Now with all of that being said, I have a lot more coming down the pipeline and I'm so excited to share with you all. So be prepared and again, be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications. Now let's jump right into this video. Now my scalp is naturally very dry, very sensitive to products and stimuli and very tender. Just like the skin on my face, I have to be very careful to avoid scalp irritants or I could suffer for weeks. My dryness issues are definitely exacerbated by dry environments, but my scalp cannot be damp for very long or it will begin to itch uncontrollably. My scalp was the source of a lot of problems for me when I first went natural, roughly a decade ago. When my hair was relaxed, my mother shampooed and greased my scalp very regularly. As a result of this, I didn't have any scalp issues. My issues ultimately began when I stopped using shampoo and I stopped greasing my scalp. Now, I was never one that fussed over my hair. My mom always handled it for me, so I literally had to learn how to care for my hair from the ground up. The pseudo guerrilla approach to making my scalp function properly combined with the knowledge acquired from countless hours of research has changed my life for the better. And I'm going to share one of these tidbits with you all today. Let's begin with an overview of the ingredients and how they work to make the scalp pop in. Sulfur 8, which contains sulfur at 2%, petrolatum, lanolin, menthol, and mineral oil. Abeniki balm, which contains menthol, eucalyptus, methyl salicylate, and camphor. Fenugreek growth oil, of which the primary ingredients are the fenugreek and the henna. We're also going to be adding yellow sulfur, brimstone powder, myconazole nitrate, which is found in plenty of over-the-counter feminine yeast products, rosemary essential oil, tea tree essential oil, peppermint essential oil, and breathe blend essential oil, which consists of cardamom, lemon, eucalyptus, laurel leaf, peppermint, pine, and tea tree essential oils. Now I know I've already put these notices up, but in particular with the methyl salicylate, I need to spell this out very carefully for you all. Please be careful when using this product. The presence of methyl salicylate in the abeniki balm can be highly irritating for some individuals. Do a patch test on your body prior to adding this to your SSG. If pregnant or nursing, 
do not use. Please also note that in excess quantities, it is highly toxic. Do your research and determine whether or not you want to use Abeniki Balm or an alternative like Vicks VapoRub. What is Petrolatum? Petrolatum, also known as petroleum jelly, amongst other names, is a semi-solid hydrocarbon derived from fossil fuel. It is often added to cosmetic formulations to occlude and lubricate and is a very important foundational ingredient for the efficacy of my SSG. I won't go into detail here since I made a video all about Petrolatum, which I will link in the top right corner for your viewing pleasure. Please pull that video up in another window so that after you finish watching this video, you can go and watch it and obtain a full understanding of exactly what Petrolatum is, as well as its application in the hair and beauty space. In this formulation, it is present in the sulfurate and the Abeniki Balm, and its presence in the sulfurate is actually one of the primary reasons why I absolutely adore sulfurate on my scalp. What is lanolin? Lanolin is a wax secreted by the sebaceous gland of wool-bearing animals. Lanolin's role in nature is to protect wool and skin from climate and the environment. It also plays a role in skin hygiene. The reason why lanolin has been used in various cosmetic products, including hair products, is that it provides essential oils to skin and hair, and thus helps skin and hair retain moisture. More studies have been done on the effects of lanolin on the skin than on hair. However, as with most things that are good for the skin, lanolin has also been shown to moisturize and maintain the hair. As an emollient, lanolin works best for people with scalp irritation and scalp dryness. What is mineral oil? Mineral oil is any of various colorless, odorless, light mixtures of higher alkanes from a mineral source. In this case, we are referring to the mineral oil that is a distillate of petroleum. The type of highly refined and purified mineral oil found in cosmetic and skincare products is non-comedogenic. Mineral oil is a good lubricant and thus performs well as detangler. The film formed by mineral oil on hair is occlusive, meaning it prevents the passage of water through it in either direction. Thus, it acts as a protective barrier that aids in moisture retention by preventing the diffusion of water from the interior of the hair out into the environment in dry conditions. If you all would like a dedicated mineral oil video, please let me know in the comments down below by dropping some red emojis. What is myconazole nitrate? Myconazole nitrate is an antifungal medication prescribed to treat fungal infections, i.e. athlete's foot and ringworm. There are a number of people who have provided anecdotal evidence that supports its efficacy and growth acceleration when used on the scalp. If you suffer from an unusually sore, tender, and or oozing scalp, the cause could potentially be fungal. Please, however, see a medical doctor or dermatologist. I am not a medical doctor, so I cannot diagnose you. I can, however, tell you that this has worked very well for me and keeps my scalp very balanced. It's funny you should ask. I have a video all about sulfur and the fact that it's an important ancient hair growth aid, as well as its modern application as an external and internal supplement. I highly recommend that you all go and watch that video so you have a full understanding of how important sulfur is in this recipe. I'll link it in the cards to the top right. Sulfur is a chemical element with the symbol S and atomic number 16. Elemental sulfur, also known as brimstone, is a bright yellow crystalline solid at room temperature. Sulfur is an essential element for all life. It is one of the core chemical elements needed for biochemical functioning and is an elemental macronutrient for all living organisms. Sulfur has antifungal, antibacterial, and keratolytic properties. In the past, its use was widespread in dermatological disorders such as seborrheic dermatitis, dandruff, and much more. Our hair is comprised of a durable protein called keratin, which is high in sulfur content. Sulfur is required for proteins like keratin to maintain their shape, which contributes directly to the overall health, strength, and elasticity of hair. More exciting is that there are studies indicating that sulfur has positive effects on hair growth. Sulfur has been proven to lengthen the growing phase of your hair. A longer growing phase before resting and shedding means longer hair. Lastly, sulfur also has been linked to treating, relieving, and decreasing the occurrence of psoriasis, dandruff, eczema, and folliculitis. What is fenugrec? Fenugrec is a 
growth aid that has become wildly popular in the natural community in the last few years. Fenugrec not only prevents hair breakage, but also promotes growth of dormant hair follicles. With this particular ingredient, I will let the sources tell you exactly what it's about. Fenugrec is an herb similar to clover that is native to the Mediterranean region, Southern Europe, and Western Asia. Fenugrec seeds are rich in folic acid, vitamin A, vitamin K, and vitamin C, and are a storehouse of minerals such as potassium, calcium, and iron. Fenugrec seeds also have high protein and nicotinic acid content, which helps prevent hair fall and dandruff, and in treating a variety of scalp issues like dryness of hair, baldness, and hair thinning. It contains large amounts of lecithin, which hydrates the hair and strengthens the roots or hair follicles. Like fenugrec, henna is amazing for hair fall. It is also antimicrobial, antifungal, pH balancing, and much more. I won't go into detail here because I've made a whole video on henna and how it benefits the hair and the scalp. I'll simply refer you to that video so you can check it out by clicking the card in the top right corner, or you can view it by clicking on the link in the description box down below. Menthol is an organic compound made synthetically or obtained from the oils of corn mint, peppermint, or other mints. Menthol increases the effectiveness of certain topically applied medicines by enlarging the blood vessels in a process known as vasodilation. This allows the medicines to penetrate deep into the affected areas. Not only does it enlarge vessels, it causes a cooling sensation by triggering the T PRPM8 receptors in the skin. It also has analgesic and anesthetic properties, which simply means that it provides relief from pain. Now for the remaining ingredients, the essential oils, I'm going to put all the information up on the screen. Please be sure to pause to read. If you all would like dedicated videos on these particular ingredients, please be sure to comment down below with any outer space emoji. Now, how to prepare Epixara's Modified Sulfur 8, which I've lovingly titled Epixara's Super Sulfur Grease. The recipe requires 2 ounces or a whole container of Sulfur 8, 25 to 30 grams of Abeniki Balm, probably 25, even 20, 6 tablespoons of growth oil, 1 tablespoon of yellow sulfur powder, 2 tablespoons of meconazole nitrate, approximately 20 drops of rosemary essential oil, approximately 60 drops of tea tree essential oil, approximately 60 drops of peppermint essential oil and approximately 50 drops of breathe blend essential oil now the first thing you're going to do is depot the sulfur 8 and place it in a glass or ceramic container for the video i've used a glass container so i can see what i'm doing and you all can see what i'm doing After transferring the sulfur 8 to the other container, heat it in the microwave until it becomes fairly fluid. This should take anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds. Check the grease every 15 seconds to ensure that you aren't overdoing it. After you've heated the grease, carefully remove it from the microwave, ideally using an oven mitt with some traction to prevent an accident, and place it on your heat safe surface, in this case my granite countertop. Add the container of Abeniki Balm to the mixture. Be sure to scrape the sides thoroughly so that all the product enters. Normally it would be only 25 grams of Abeniki Balm, but I had a little bit of an extra container left, so I included that in my mixture. Thoroughly mix the Abeniki Balm into the heated sulfur 8. Thank you. 
After mixing well, heat the mixture to further dissolve the abeniki balm. Remove from the microwave, stir again, and transfer to your final container or containers. Since I had an empty sulfur 8 container and I have a sibling, I divided my mixture into two. You can, however, put everything in one new container. I find that this particular method of dividing the mixture is the easiest for me, the most convenient for making multiple batches, and the most thoughtful when we consider my sister. Add three tablespoons, six in total, of the growth oil to each container. And again, if you all would like me to make a video on my own growth oil, please drop a yellow emoji down below. Add half a tablespoon, one in total, of brimstone powder to each container. Add one tablespoon, two in total, of myconazole nitrate to each container. Add 10 drops, 20 in total, of rosemary essential oil to each container. Add 30 drops, 60 in total, of tea tree essential oil to each container. Add 30 drops, 60 in total, of peppermint essential oil to each container. Mix thoroughly. Add 25 drops, 50 in total, of Breathe Blend essential oil to each container. Mix once more. Refrigerate the mixture for one to three hours. This will give it enough time to become solid. Remove from the refrigerator and apply to your scalp. Now for storage, please store this in the refrigerator for more soothing and satisfying use and to maintain a more solid state. Now that we've made our modified version of Sulfur 8, let's learn how to use it. Because of all the active ingredients, I don't actually put this on my hair. It would be wasteful. I put other greases on the length of my hair and I discuss them in my favorite products video, which you all can view by clicking in the top right corner. When I use this grease, I apply it to my scalp on a few different occasions. After I wash my hair, I apply it to my scalp after washing to seal in moisture and ensure that my scalp will remain fungus and itch free until my next wash day, when my scalp is itchy and or dry. If my scalp feels itchy and or dry, I will typically use my spray bottle of water and tea tree to dampen it slightly. I will then go in with my SSG to seal in the moisture. When my scalp is sore slash tender. When my scalp is sore, and or tender, it usually denotes a pretty serious fungal issue for me. I don't want to exacerbate any scalp issues, so I apply the SSG directly. If I am due to shampoo, which I typically am after that kind of struggle, I wash my hair with my antifungal shampoo, which you can find out more about in my favorite products video, complete the rest of my wash routine, and then go in with the SSG when there is tension on my scalp. When my braids are fresh, I like to use this to relieve a lot of the tension because it tingles. I also use it because the growth properties allow my hair to grow out more quickly, giving me sweet relief from the tension. To see exactly how this product fits into my regimen, check out my regimen building video by clicking in the top right corner. The tips there will help common scalp issues and make this product more effective. Wow, y'all, we've made it to the end. This was a super long video, but I hope it was also super informative and super helpful. Now, if you've been here for a while, you already know what to do. Drop some blue emojis down below. It means you're an OG. <laughs> I'd also like to see you all use this recipe. So if you do, be sure to tag me on Instagram via Ethicsara, E-F-I-K-Z-A-R-A. -E I'd absolutely love to see you all at this tier regimen. Now, of course, before we sign out, please don't forget to give this video one big thumbs up. Be sure to share this video with your friends and your loved ones and anyone suffering from scalp issues. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know how you mix your own sulfur eight. Be sure also to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you know every time I post a new video. I love you so much and I'm eternally grateful for your support. I can't wait to see you in my next video. Until then, ta-ta for now.